So here I've got a file that I was sent to be laser cut and it contains a few problems that um, are pretty typical if you're just starting out to use Illustrator as a laser cutting design program. I'm just going to open up this document and quickly go over how you can avoid these problems. So now we're in the document, the first thing I notice is these pieces of text, these numbers, are not outlined, which means they're still editable. But if I didn't have this OSP DIN font installed, Illustrator would substitute a different font for these numbers, and you don't want that. So to solve this, you simply right click and click create outlines. That's then changed this editable piece of font into a shape and we can change that so it's outlined in green. The next problem I noticed is this shape here is not one complete shape and if we've dragged this over like this, you can see that not all the pieces have come over with that shape. So this can happen if you're using the pen tool or the line tool, essentially if you're drawing the shape in parts. The best way to create this shape would obviously be draw a rectangle and then round the corners and you won't run into this problem. However, to solve this, we've got to release the compound path, breaking up all the pieces so now we can drag anything away and it's just singular pieces. We've then got to select all the outline. So I'm deselecting the circles and number. And then we're going to right click and join. <clears throat> now mostly this has joined up all the shape and it's pretty good. However what we've got here are some outlying points the Illustrator has found and joined those into the mix. So I'm going to control Z that and I'm just going to delete those two points. I'm then going to go back and rejoin the rest of the shape. It's give us this extra line, I'm just going to use the Y arrow to delete that. And we should be all joined up and ready to go. So we've got that shape. We've also got this little cut out here. We've got our circles and we've got our number. The last thing to do is just ungroup all of that. So there were just a few changes but there are crucial in making an optimal laser cutting document. If we'd left it how it was before, we wouldn't have been etching or kiss cutting the number. The laser software would not have seen that. And when we came to cut this outline shape here, the laser would have hopped around and done a little bit on the left and a little bit on the top. And if you have an even remotely out of focus laser, you're going to have a lot of visible stop and start points, which you obvi obviously don't want. The other thing is, it's going to take a lot more time because the laser can't get up to speed. So it's going to do a little bit there, then stop, then come up here and do a little bit. It's going to cost you money if you're using a laser cutting service. And it's going to cost you time if it's your own laser. The last thing, and this is just preference, but I, I like to change the stroke so it's all the same. And I actually like to use red and black if I'm just using two colors. I can then export this as a DXF and it's perfect for laser cutting.